Hi, my name is Chris Chamberlain. My faith story starts uh, when I was born, essentially. I grew up Presbyterian. Uh, I grew up with Christian parents who raised me as a Christian. And uh, I um, was always involved in the religious aspect. I went to church every Sunday. I was involved in youth group. I would have said yes if someone asked me if I was a Christian, but uh, I don't know if the relationship or meaning was really there behind it um, until late high school when I decided to try out another church and I was asked to play drums at this church and once I started playing drums at that church I really met a lot of people and started really exploring my faith and growing my relationship and um, and that really has been a catalyst in my faith throughout my life since then because I've stayed involved in church even in times when I wouldn't have because I had that um, connection and a uh, way to serve at, at the churches I was at. And looking back over the last two years, it's probably been um, the time where my faith has grown the most. Uh, a lot of that is I've stepped out of my comfort zone a lot. I went on an inter my first international mission trip to Nicaragua, which was an amazing experience. Uh, and then uh, another thing I've changed is just asking questions rather than being afraid of what that may make people think of me. Um, I think as a Christian, sometimes we're scared to ask questions because people will think, you know, or will judge our level of faith or um, think of us in a negative light. But really, for me, asking questions has really grown my faith and um, I've started to realize how much everything makes sense and it's really grown my relationship um, with God and Jesus. So I was baptized on Easter Sunday uh, most of my life, I'd never really considered being baptized again because I was baptized as a baby. Um, I started thinking about baptism about a year ago. I was in, when I was in Nicaragua, I saw five guys get baptized. One was planned, four others were all inspired by the other. And it began to kind of hit me that, you know, the baptism when I was a baby was more of a commitment by my parents to say, I'm going to raise my child as a Christian, I'm going to raise my child in the church. But I'd never really made a public declaration of my faith uh, since I was an adult. And so I began to think about it, it weighed on my heart for a while, and then I saw uh, people were being baptized on Easter. And I just thought that was a perfect opportunity to finally make that, or take that step. And so I did, and it was an amazing experience. And uh, there's a certain level of accountability I have now, something I didn't think of before, where you've made a public declaration of faith in front of your whole church on Easter Sunday, you kind of um, feel an accountability that, hey, I better live out my faith in the way God intended. Uh, my life has definitely had more meaning since I started walking with Christ. Um, I think before, you know, I tried to be a good person, I had morals, but now there's a, you know, there's a reason behind it. Now there's meaning behind it. Uh, it's not just doing it just because I want people to think I'm a good person. It's doing it because it's the way Christ showed us to live. It's the way um, it's the way it's going to make the world a better place overall. If you if everyone could just love each other and uh, live a life like Christ did, um, and to me it just makes sense. I mean, just the the right way to live.